Okay, the new transmission just came in. Uh, UPS, uh, USPS sent it to the wrong place. Like, like, well, how do you do that? It was in my town, and it would have been delivered the next day, but they sent it to Chicago and made it two days later than it should have. But whatever, I found all this stuff to do. But this is going to be a fun part. Um, I'm not going to record most of me rebuilding this motor because it's going to take me a long time. I'm going to have to be reading the manual and watching videos. Got most of the transmission gears out. I cut myself within two minutes of doing it. This JB Weld got inside of the case and I was peeling it off. And it was really hard and it sliced me right open in a terrible spot because every time I bend my finger it reopens. But I'm going to clear all that JB Weld out because we don't want that in there. I guarantee that's probably why the transmission gear broke because that JB Weld got in there and Something broke off and then got in between the gears. But anyway, I'm going to keep working. Okay, the transmission is back in. I got gasket maker on the case. I could have done better, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Hopefully it seals because I'd hate to rip it apart again. But I'm going to put this back together. And I'm going to let it sit for about an hour. I'm going to come back and start working on it again. All right, transmission and cases are all put in clutch and components balancer everything is put in hopefully it's done right i'm pretty confident i'm getting excited i still have to put the flywheel back on and do the top end and all that but we're making progress i've been working on this thing since 1 30 this morning now it's nine o'clock p.m or 1 30 <laughs> this afternoon sorry and now it's 9 p.m so I took it apart a bunch of times, so I made sure I was double checking, and everything seems to be working, everything shifts good, so, but anyway, I'm not going to record much more, because I just want to get it done, and it takes way too long, I don't have that much GoPro life. Alright, got the clutch cover on with the new gasket, it's starting to look good and look complete, and um, I got to do the flywheel and stator, and then I got to do the top end. Might end up doing it tomorrow. It's like 10 something right now, so I'm about ready to relax for the day. But I'm hoping tomorrow, which is a Saturday, I'm hoping tomorrow I can have it running. That would be awesome. And hopefully it runs good and there's no problems. <laughs> All right, the motor is 100% completely together. And I'm nervous. Uh, I got to get this thing back on the frame. This thing weighs like at least 9,000 pounds. So it's really hard to <laughs> maneuver. But that's what I'm going to do now. And hopefully we'll have it running today. It's about 5 o'clock p.m. I've had lots of energy the past two days. <laughs> Made some good progress here. It's 6 o'clock I think. Wasn't too hard. To get the motor back on but it was a little annoying I had to use the crowbar to adjust everything get it into positioning but i'm hoping here within two hours i can have this thing running i mean i'm really needing them good vibes right now because it's nerve-wracking this is my first completely rebuilt motor that i completely disassembled and completely assembled back so i'm really nervous but again we'll see I don't know, I think I might be ready to start this. I have every tool that I freaking own out. I have not started it. I've only turned it over. It sounds good from there, but... I did that so I could let the oil, some oil get into the oil pump and jump. I'm really freaking nervous. Oh my god. My heart is beating so fast. I'm totally gonna get wet, but I don't even care. Back tires are flat. I don't got the chain on it. Here goes nothing, I guess. I'm gonna check spark. I wanna make sure I have spark. Yeah, I'm getting spark. Oh 
Okay, let's try it again. Oh my god, please shift. Absolutely, please shift and don't break. Please. Moving. Okay, neutral. Back to first. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Man, I can't believe it runs. But anyway, please like and subscribe. What are you doing, dog? Please like and subscribe and show me some support, please. I rebuilt this motor because I know a lot of people were interested in this Raptor. Uh, I had it, actually had it listed for sale, but I decided to just fix it myself. But anyway, I'm going to put the chain on and hopefully ride it.